Hi, this is Randy Wyckoff, the Dean of the College of Public Health at East Tennessee State University, and I'm pleased to provide the COVID-19 update, which is our 68th weekly update with data accurate through September 2nd, 2021. Today, I'm gonna to make it short and sweet. What should you tell someone if they are considering getting the vaccine? I'm not talking about talking to people who are dead set against it, but if someone's thinking about it, tell them three things. Tell them the pandemic isn't over, tell them that it is serious, and tell them that vaccination reduce hospitalizations and deaths. The pandemic is not over. You can see this undulating sawtooth pattern. This is daily cases worldwide. You see the same undulating pattern in the United States. You see the same pattern in Tennessee. Over and over again, there is no reason to believe that this pandemic is going to come to an end on its own until we have either widespread immunization from vaccinations of widespread immunity from vaccinations or from natural disease. And this pandemic is serious. No matter what anyone says, it is serious. Four and a half million deaths. It is now the 12th most lethal pandemic in recorded human history. In the United States, 660,000 deaths. That's more deaths than soldiers who were killed in World War I, World War II, Korea, Vietnam, Iraq, and Afghanistan combined. And in Tennessee, we've had 13,000 deaths. And it's not just deaths, it's hospitalizations and chronic disease. We still, we know that the people who get sick may have long haul COVID. And we see this spike in the number of hospitalizations, both in the United States overall, in Tennessee, and in our region. For ballot health, this is the third highest number of COVID hospitalizations they've had in the, since the pandemic began. This is a serious pandemic. And no, this is not misclassification. You know, you know, some people believe there's a worldwide conspiracy to make this stuff up. It isn't. These are excess deaths. It's been well documented. And finally, the last thing to look at is that vaccinations reduce hospitalizations and deaths. I looked at the 10 most vaccinated states in America. I looked at the hospitalizations per 100,000 in the last two weeks and deaths per 100,000 in the last week, and I came up with an average. Then I did the same thing for the 10 least vaccinated states in the nation, including our state of Tennessee, which is the ninth least vaccinated state in America. I looked at hospitalizations per 100,000 in the last two weeks and deaths, and I came up with an average. And when you compare them, the difference is pretty stark. And the 10 most vaccinated states, the vaccination rate is almost two thirds. 12 hospitalizations per 100,000 in the past two weeks, 0.165 deaths per 100,000 in the past week. Conversely, the 10 least vaccinated states, including our state of Tennessee, only about two thirds of the rate of the most vaccinated states, hospitalization rate three and a half times higher. The death rate over four times higher, a fourfold difference in the death rate from the most, the 10 most vaccinated states compared to the 10 least vaccinated states. If you look at the top five and bottom five, the difference is even more dramatic. But if you don't like that, let's look closer to home. Let's take those 331 patients that Ballard says and they're having a hospital with COVID, of which Ballard says 77 are in the ICU, 48 are intubated. Of the 331, 310, almost 94% are not vaccinated. Of the 77, 74, 96% are not vaccinated. And of the intubated patients, 98% are not vaccinated. Our regional vaccination rate is probably about 40%. And yet look at this, time and time again, every statistic shows you that vaccinations reduce hospitalizations and reduce serious illness and reduce death. Now it also reports 11 pediatric patients, including six in the pediatric ICU. So if you know someone is considering getting the vaccine, tell them the pandemic isn't over. Tell them that it's serious and tell them that vaccinations reduce hospitalizations and death. And if that's not enough, tell them, please do it for their children, their grandchildren, their neighbor, or for all of us. The more people get vaccinated, the quicker they get vaccinated, the greater the chance that we're going to reduce of uh, the opportunity of having a new variant in the very near future. There's a great deal more information about COVID-19 on the College of Public Health website. If you know anyone who'd like to receive this video, please let us know. 
As always, I'd like to thank Barry Young for editing, produce, producing, and posting this video. And if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. I look forward to answering them. I got a number of questions last week that I haven't had a chance to address. I'll do my very best to get to them as quickly as possible. I look forward to seeing you in a week. Until then, please be healthy.